The Nutrient Solution Calculator is an Excel spreadsheet developed by Dr. Luca Incroci from University of Pisa. You can download this spreadsheet from this uh, web page at the <coughs> at Bacheningen and you can download it in different languages. We will be seeing today the English version, version 1.2 of the Nutrient Solution Calculator. This program allows <coughs> the calculation of the uh, nutrient composition, the different amounts of nutrients of fertilizers to add to irrigation water for fertigation. The input data are the ion composition of irrigation water the crop recipe that we want to implement to our crop and some technical characteristics of the fertigation device. To run the program we just click on the Excel file may take a while as you can see okay here you have some explanation of what is this program and, uh, <clears throat> and some information about how it was funded, the development of this program, based on an European grant and developed by Dr. Luca Incroci. We click on Start. We have several possibilities. In general, we would should start by including the inputs. Clicking on Inputs, first we have the composition of irrigation water. It is expressed in a millimole uh, per liter for macronutrients and micromole for mi micronutrients. Here we can change any of these any of these uh, cells can be modified here we have the concentration of bicarbonate, nitrate, ammonium, phosphate, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sodium, sulfate, chloride, iron, boron, copper, zinc, manganese, and molybdenum. Once we have included, well, it tells us that the anions are greater than cations. We'll check on that later. The water quality evaluation tells us that it is high in bicarbonate and in magnesium. And here we have some fertigation device parameters, mainly the dilution ratio for calculating the stock solution. We can change that from 1 to 1000. The volume of the stock solution in this case is 1000. In this program calculates the stock solution assuming that the, it is separated into two tanks, tank A and the tank B. We will see later how. Then we choose what is the recipe that we want. Opening this will show us all the possible recipes that we have in the database. For different crops, we have the Hoagland and Arnon, which is a let's say a universal solution <clears throat> and we need to define what is the pH that we want. The program will work between 5.5 and 6.5. Let's assume for in this example a value of 6 and the target EC is 2.2. 
okay with this information we can now go to calculation we click on calculation and we see here that clicking on calculate it will fit the different fertilizers to the recipe that we want note that here on the left we have different possibilities for selecting the fertilizers that we want to use we may use different acids nitric phosphoric and sulfuric or we may restrict that to only nitric clicking n for the other let's see what happens if we put here phosphoric and also sulfuric acid we click on calculate and finally it will give us the nutrient solution that we will get and the difference between the recipe that we want and the nutrient solution that we get if the uh, if it is green then it is okay so the difference is not important but if it is red it means that we have an excess like in this case we have an excess in phosphorus and an excess in potassium well let's remove the phosphoric clicking on no here and clicking no and click on calculate well now it looks that everything has gone fine but in general it needs some adjusting of the different fertilizers that we can use for instance let's consider that we allow using for instance ammonium sulfate click on yes and calculate using ammonium sulfate allowing the use of ammonium sulfate would make the program create a nutrient solution that has an excess of potassium so let's remove ammonium sulfate we'll click again on calculate and we come up with a satisfactory solution once we are happy with the results which means that all the cells here are in green we might go and see the re here the report in doing the calculations we can always use the advice and put the advice as an input if we want to change manually using manual calculation uh, the values of the different fertilizers in this case if we go and check the report we have first a green warning telling us that no precipitation is expected in the two tanks we see here the soil concentration in tank A and the soil concentration in tank B, 53.4. We can change the dilution ratio. <coughs> For instance, if we had a dilution ratio of 200, click on apply, and then the program uh, tells us that there is one, one salt will be precipitating in stock A. To see which one, we click on stock nutrient solution precipitation test and we see here in red that we have precipitation of calcium sulfate it tells us that the dilution ratio is too high or you use salts that contain sulfate which is not the case we are not adding any fertilizer including sulfate it is the water the irrigation water that containing sulfate so we can do nothing about it 
we go back to report. So we have to reduce, for instance, let's use 150. We are still above 120 until we have a green uh, a green warning. The nutrient solution composition will be stored in tanks of 1,000 liters with a dilution ratio 120, means that we will need to apply 120 times water as volume of stock solution. The uh, the target pH is six. The target, the expected uh, electrical conductivity is two point two dCm per meter. The ratios of nitrogen and potassium is two point five. Ammonium to nitrate zero point zero seven. Potassium, calcium, magnesium zero thirty three point forty four point twenty two. In the in the final part of the report, we find what are the amounts of fertilizer to be added to each of the tanks. Remember that the tanks each have a thousand liters. We have tank A adding calcium, ammonium nitrate, ammonium nitrate, potassium nitrate, and iron EDTA. While in tank B, we would be adding magnesium nitrate. Excuse me, in nitrate A, we also add the acid, nitric acid, and this is the amount. In tank B, we would add, we would be adding magnesium nitrate, monopotassium phosphate, potassium nitrate, potassium sulfate, potassium chloride, borax, copper sulfate, zinc sulfate, and manganese sulfate, and ammonium ethamolybdate. Finally, the program calculates the cost of the stock nutrient solutions and the corresponding uh, cost per cubic meter, in this case 0 0.92. This is based on the information that we have included in the fertilizers and acids database. See here we have the most commonly used fertilizers in fertigation and in this column we have the euro per uh, per unit, euro per, per kilogram or euro per liter in the case of uh, liquid fertilizers. We might change that basically. Going back to calculation, we can do changes if we want to to the uh, to the different fertilizers, mostly by allowing them or not to be included in the stock solution. We saw before that there was a problem with the neutrality of the irrigation water. Going back to the composition of the water and after checking, we find out that the value of sodium was actually 3.2. Now the electrochemical neutrality test says OK. We go back to calculation and click on calculate. OK, and the program finds a solution using nitric acid, using calcium nitrate, Ammonium nitrate, monopotassium phosphate, magnesium nitrate, potassium nitrate, potassium sulfate and potassium chloride, and then different components for iron and micronutrients. Go back to report, and the solution is basically the same as we have seen before. The composition for stock A and stock B for tanks A and B.